Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. So one type of video that I like to watch are studio or desk tours. In those videos, people always seem to have these really awesome setups with lots of fancy lights and all kinds of stuff. Everything always looks so great. Look at all of this, this is all so clean, so perfect. And of course, all the equipment, this is usually always high-end expensive stuff. There's usually never something old that simply just works. For example, Mark has a setup. It's really just so beautiful and clean. It really looks like it could be an art piece. There's nothing messy, nothing extra, nothing is out of place. So when I look at those and then I look at my own desk, I always ask myself, does everyone have these beautiful, clean, high-end setups and I'm just a messy, boring person? Or is everyone closer to the setup that I've got over here and these are actually the outliers? I'd love to see where you work. I made a post on Twitter, so go ahead and show me your setup. And this video is also meant to showcase how you don't need a super high-end, super clean setup. Most of what I have right now I've had for many, many years, and it has enabled me to make 8 Steam games which have grossed over $1 million in 10 years. And I'm currently working on my next Steam game called Dinky Guardians. It's a fun automation colony building defense game. Go ahead and add it to your wishlist. So with that said, here's my normal basic desk tour. Alright, so here is my desk setup. Starting off with my main monitor here. So this is a Bank XL 2420Z. I bought this ages ago, something like 8 years ago. Back then I was really into Counter-Strike, so I really wanted something with 144 hertz. So technically it's pretty old, it's ATN panel, but still works perfectly. Then next to it I've got a super basic Dell, no idea what this is. Basically when I moved into this place and started using two monitors, I just went into the local store and picked up just the cheapest 1080p monitor there was. And again, so this one is also still about 7 years old and still works perfectly. Oh crap, the zombies are attacking, so let me just clean them up. Okay, so back to the tour. Down here I've got my keyboard. So this is a Logitech G915. Pretty nice one, and I really need the wrist rest, otherwise my wrists get all messed up. Then next to it for my mouse, this is a Logitech Pro something something. It's actually the first wireless mouse that I've been trying out. And it actually works surprisingly well. I thought the wireless was somewhat noticeable. But nowadays the tech is awesome, so the wireless is really not noticeable at all. This was definitely a great upgrade. My mouse pad, as you can see, has definitely seen better days. Again, this one was also something like 10 years old. But hey, still works perfectly, so there it is. Then down there is the main thing that I've spent money on. Just go ahead and ignore the cable management off to the side. So in there is a RTX 3090. Definitely super expensive, but it does help pay off considering how much less the videos take to render. So definitely expensive, but a worthwhile purchase. And for the CPU, I've got a Ryzen 5950X. Again, lots of cores, really great for editing videos. This PC is definitely much, much better than the previous one that I had. Previously, the renders took about 30 minutes to make for a simple video, whereas now it takes 5 minutes, so definitely very worthwhile. Alright, so then up here for my camera, I've got a super basic Logitech webcam. I think this is the 920S. Again, really basic, but it does get the job done. Although I would like to upgrade to something a bit better. I think my biggest issues with the green screen I think it simply comes from the fact that this camera doesn't really render it too well. So I definitely would like to upgrade to a proper camera. Then speaking of cameras, the other important thing are of course lights. So over there I've got a super basic, super simple light. I literally just bought the cheapest ring light that I could find and it doesn't really work very well, doesn't have much light. But then behind it is the Elgato light. That one is definitely much better, definitely provides a lot more light. To go along with the light, I've got my green screen down here. It's really nice, definitely is green, so it definitely works. My chair is also super basic. You can see it has definitely seen better days. I definitely would like to upgrade this one to a proper chair sometime soon. Next up over here I've got my microphone. So this one is a Blue Yeti. Basically I did a bunch of research before I even started this channel, all the way back in 2018. I did a ton of research and pretty much the consensus was this one was the best one at a pretty reasonable price. So I bought it back then and still works perfectly, so definitely happy with this one. Then for some more random stuff, over here I got some basic speakers. Again, yeah, on those desk tours they've got tons of high-end equipment, whereas I've got a lot of super basic stuff. For this one I don't even have the other one, the other one has been broken for quite some time, so I just got this one. I have no idea what brand this is, I bought the cheapest set of speakers about 7 years ago. But hey, it still works, it still gives out sound, so that's perfectly fine for me. Then for something very much not technical, over here is my daily to-do list. So my mini whiteboard that I write every single day with my to-do things for the day. Very low tech, but definitely helps me keep track of my daily tasks. Then over here I've got a really nice Unity notebook. They gave me this in a swag bag all the way back in GDC. 
It's really nice, so I haven't used it yet. I wanna make sure that when I use it, I use it for something special. Then over here, I've got my watch. This is a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Really nice, really useful to keep track of workouts and running. Pretty nice. Next to it is my stack of books. So I've got the Daily Stoic, so really nice to read just one passage every single day. Nice way to start the day. Then I've got the Dragon Ball Z manga. This is the first manga that I've ever bought, and I've been really enjoying it, even though I haven't read as much as I would like. Next to it is the Swanley Bible. This is the book by the channel Bro Science Live. So just some fun gym comedy book. And then next to it, Code Complete 2. I've mentioned this specific book several times in my videos. I generally think this is one of the best books that has greatly helped me increase my programming skills. Everything that I know about writing good clean code, most of it came from this book. Then next to it, I've got some eye drops for my dog. Sometimes his eyes get messed up, so he needs a few drops. Then I've got some pills for my other dog. She's getting up in here, so this helps. Then next to it, I've got my Samsung earbuds. So when I go walk my dogs and I want to listen to some YouTube videos, some podcasts, something, so this is what I take with me. Then just for fun, I've got a nice kunai. Next to it, I've got a really nice fat boo. Then I've got a really nice tiger, a really nice unity ducky, and a really nice Gogeta. So just some super basic decoration, definitely no RGB lights everywhere. Next to it, I've got a bunch more to-do lists. I've got lots of biscuits for my dogs. And I've got my general calendar. This is definitely not fixed in sound, this changes a lot, but this is roughly how I keep up to date with which videos are coming out when. And down there I've got my t-shirts. I definitely should have a proper place to put them, but so far they're just in a pile. And then I've got my laptop. This is an LG Gram. I have no idea what model this is. Pretty basic, but really nice. I basically just use my laptop to reply to comments or do some researching or writing a video, so I don't need anything too special. I don't normally do any Unity developing or any editing over here, so some basic works. And I think that's it. So hopefully this video helps give a more realistic view of what a setup is like. Or perhaps not, perhaps everyone has those beautiful high-end clean setups, and mine is really by comparison very basic and boring. I definitely look forward to seeing what your setups look like, and don't forget to add Dinky Gardens to your wishlist. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.